Okay, okay, okay. We are live. Hey, listen. So, today is rest in peace Stephen Hawking's day. <laughs> One second. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, Heath. Uh, my pleasure. My pleasure. If you go live uh, <laughs> soon, uh, you'll get the next raid. I go, um, always when I finish a stream, I go and look uh, who's uh, who's ready, who's live. And uh, if there is no one on my list, I'll, I'll, I go in on <laughs> the creative and see who's on. And you never know what you, you, you get, but... Anyways. Well, of course you, of course you get traffic. Hey, dear bird, how's it going? Miller, Chilstrand, Tormod. You can't stream. Oh well, that's how it is. Freelance, I guess. You got some stuff to do. Hey, Sempi, bara, you're on time. Hey, Zelin, Russell, how's it going, Russell? I like your r recent stuff, Russell. How's everyone doing? Yeah, so, uh, rest in peace, Stephen Hawkins. So, my son wanted a topic. A sandwich. Yeah. So, that's what I'm going to do today. Yeah, so some cool stuff, Russell. I really like that that um, short guy with a cape, or is a short girl with a cape? I don't remember. Bald, I think. Chinese boy. It's nice. And the 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 woman is also cool, but I think it's some issues with the rhythm, like shadows and so on. But it's uh, nice. Would be interesting to to hear what um, that portfolio review and by whom. You should, uh, if you have time, like write a short, um, a short write-up about it uh, on the Discord, so people can read. Uh, you just general, general topics of what the what the person told to, told you about um, your portfolio. I think that will be really educational. You know, link your portfolio and stuff. All right, time to start. Topic is sandwich. Hugo wanted me to draw it. So I kind of saw this sand and uh, caped or hooded, which kind of emerging from the sand and uh, kind of having the sand fall off as she's standing up and uh, with her witch's fingers do a portfolio review review <laughs> yeah no but I think it's ed educational like I'm assuming you you got a portfolio review by someone good you don't need to go out, go in 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 vast details about what they wrote. Obviously, it's it's 
your information you you might have even paid for it uh, but um, just a bullet point and what you know there's people who are less skilled than you Russell and I think having having uh, something to see um, um, or based on your art and what what the, this portfolio reviewer said I think that would be uh, could be a very very educational for uh, those artists that try to catch up to where you are in, in skill level. Russell, that's great. Hey, a voodoo breakfast. Tormod, do you know why you can't starve to death in Sahara? Um, <laughs> no. Do tell me, I'm eager to know. Hey, Jacob Bovli. Bruno Romanos. How's it going, man? Because out of all the sand which is there. Aww. The jokes. Hey, Debart. Good morning. Captain Jetlag. Hey, old Mila Passage. All rise. Queen Mila has arrived. Okay, let's add that. The strongest there. Hey, Captain Jetlag, Sempi Bada. Buff Nelson, oh yeah, oh yeah. The man, the mystery, Mr. Buff Nelson has arrived. <laughs> hey, Torbod. Did you have a great joke there? No, I'm just. How's it going, man? Uh, I had a, I had a look at the form, and three people have voted so far by the judges. Unfortunately, no one has written feedback. Um, as I suspected, a lot of the judges are busy, and um, and um, I'm 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 hoping someone will have more time to write a comment. But as it's optional and. Uh, you know, I, I did write a note for them stating, uh, if you have time, please feel f feel uh, compelled to um, give them some feedback. You know, because having having reasons why is a very um, educational for you guys. But uh, I haven't voted yet. Um, but I'll uh, I'll make sure to write up feedback f f or, or justify my my um, voting because it it is educational and that you know that's one one of the reasons why why you guys are at the competition to to uh, to learn us at the same time as uh, compete and all these things. Hey, Jay Clark, you're new. Uh, Jay Clark. Uh, I don't really have um, any like play along rules, but if you go to 30 min warm up dot com um, and go up into the archives, you'll see all my past warm ups. And a lot of them, um, you know, I. I Tested uh, color theory from James Gurney. Uh, did like fixed palettes. I started. I played with line art. I did the studies. It's all about the general idea is to get your 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 brain going, right? And uh, and don't worry so much about getting a fantastic painting, but to move your hand, uh, activate your brain, you know, lift up your energy. <laughs> All these things to uh, to get to get you started, you know, so that after the warm up, um, when you start working, you've already um, you know shaken off the cobweb. Um, you are you are ready to uh, get something down, right? And you don't need to struggle uh, to get that those uh, brush marks down because you're already running, right? You you're just switch switch uh, 
intent, like you're doing the warm up and then you switch to project uh, or client work, and you don't need to sit there and uh, figure out what what you need to do. So you you got your warm up down. Uh, it's uh, all, you know. You got your bad ideas out. <laughs> you can focus on the good ones. <laughs> like um, I don't know. I'm not friends with him anymore, but I used to be. Uh, Andrew Jones, and he he said always. Um, like first ten drawings are what you've seen from someone else. So get those out and then you start to come out. And in the, in this similar way of like how you should view the warm ups, it's not about creating the most original art, it's not about uh anything else than than just get it out of the system. Get that the process out, have something down but the more you do these warm-ups, I mean, I think this is the third year uh, I'm doing it. Um, and uh, and and one one of my 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 thoughts in regards to warm-ups and sketching and so on is that you're only as good as your worst drawing. And uh, by doing these warm-ups on on random topic and. Uh, no preparation and just draw something uh, has helped me raise the quality of my worst drawing. <laughs> so even on on a bad day, uh, I can as at least get something out. You know, which is which is really good and one of the purposes of sketching. And 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 uh, practicing is to just do that to to uh, allow your mind to process data and make mistakes and uh, prepare for when you do do an actual project like an actual painting uh, because you have practiced your process you have practiced your way of thinking you have uh, exercised your exercised your demons. Hey, Chinstrumpan, how's it going? Welcome back. I saw some more people. I gotta scroll up. Uh, Mila Pesic, Dearbar, J. Clar, This is no one. No one. Alms, how's it going? <laughs> Bridge press that art muscle. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, Alex. But it's it's true though. It's true though. I mean, if you think about it, like a, in the in 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 the form of sports, right? You never go up on a basketball court and like gonna play a uh, three versus three without warm up, <laughs> you know, or uh, or uh, a playoff. You you need to be ready. You need to have done your all your drills. You need to practice with your your whatever whatever. Enough of the sport analogy, but you get the idea, right? That you you can't just go cold into something and and expect to perform your best. And, uh, and and not enough of people use sketching as a well as a means of e uh, ex experiencing art without um, experiencing creating art uh, without fear of failing, right? A lot of people see sketching as they gotta perform, they gotta make something beautiful. I mean, look at it. Look in a lot of people's sketchbooks. They treat them as a book of uh, fine arts, and then you look in in, in my sp sketchbooks, uh, and they're all just doodles and sketches and explorations. And I don't care if I draw an ugly drawing in my sketchbooks. Is that's not the purpose of my sketchbooks, right? It's the purpose of my sketchbooks is to 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 do like these warm ups. Just do something and see what comes out. Experiment with an idea chase down an idea and draw the same thing over and over but vastly different each time and to see what you can come up with and if you're precious about it and scared you're never gonna be able to to get something truly original out unless you you, you, s you do a lot of hit and misses I 
I read sandwich. Yeah, Sempi, but that, that's what my son said as well. But he said, oh, a sandwich in the desert. I was like, what? He's like, no, a sandwich. If I know someone called George Baird, Beard, um, no, I would say no. Hey, Marvin Marbles, welcome back. Uh, I draw minimum, obviously, eight hours a day uh, for work. Um, then I spend maybe from ten, eleven, twelve, one, four, four, five more hours at night. So it's like fourteen-hour day, more or less. Does that make it eight, nine, ten, uh, twelve? Yeah, twelve to f uh, fourteen hours a day. I I draw. I I'm a father and husband and stuff, so obviously that f that f fluctuates a bit. And but around there. <laughs> there, but yeah. I mean, I, what I used to do though is I used to have a sketchbook, um, specifically for pretty drawings. So I had an ugly sketchbook where I experimented with, and then I switched to the the pretty one, right? And then uh, with the pretty one, I I did uh, tests on my in my ugly sketchbook of what to draw, and you know did studies and redrew hand over and over and over again. And then in my pretty sketchbook, I um, I drew the the final masterpiece. <laughs> But then that quickly got boring, and I'd never finished that sketchbook. Jake Lar, yeah, absolutely. Um, I have uh, around fifty sketchbooks uh, uh, finished. Finished f around fifty sketchbooks finished there, over there, over there uh, in uh, my bookshelf, and uh, they range from two thousand four forward uh, I did I did most sketchbooks during three years and then slowly slowly and um, the pace um, the pace slowed down quite significantly especially with children and uh, changing commute and, and so on but in that that's not the point the point is that looking at those sketchbooks because I've always had that mindset of it doesn't matter what I draw I don't, I'm not gonna try to draw something pretty I'm just gonna test ideas looking at those sketchbooks years later the ideas are still interesting right even though my technical ability was far uh, far far from where they are today the ideas were still you know intriguing so I can easily look back in those sketchbooks and like oh I'm gonna steal that idea yoink thanks Uh, George Beard. Um, I, I, I mean, the name itself is eludes me. Maybe he used a nickname. I used to sketch a lot with um, with a lot of people. You should ask him what his uh, handle was on internet back then. Heath Al Alex, <laughs> yeah, that first page of a sketchbook. Um, that's why you should completely ruin it. Don't expect to draw a beautiful drawing on the first sketchbook. Just, just break it. Just make something completely ugly. Because that you all then you'll start the sketchbook thinking, okay, I I can't ruin this. I'm on a roll. Like I have to be careful with what I'm drawing. It's just should it be, for me it shouldn't be that way. It should just be draw something and and be done with it. Let's look at this tiny sketchbook. So m my page one is is just uh, a weird ballpoint pen monster. 
just draw something. And second page is even worse. I don't like I don't treat the sketchbooks like I need to perform in them, right? But each each to their own, you know. If you want to treat your sketchbook like a be a beautiful piece of art, there's definitely people who do that, and they're definitely making beautiful art. Uh, and uh, there's nothing wrong with treating your sketchbook as a as a portfolio or whatever. Uh, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm not saying don't do that, but I'm saying f how I see it. That's what I'm using my sketchbooks for. But if you look on on online on on sketchbooks. Um, like for sale and so on, uh, finished sketchbooks by artists. They are beautiful, you know. They're they're work of art themselves, and there's nothing wrong with that. And and it's huge respect for those artists who do. Hey, Captain Bowes. <laughs> yeah, Buff Nelson. Yeah, I know that the, that first page. But I, 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 I want to ruin my first page all all the time when I I get a new one. I do deliberately. Uh, I re most of the times I just do line art on page one. And then, if I'm bored, I can revisit it. And. Um, and render it if I want to, uh, you know, push the idea further. But usually, what happens is that it's um, line art in page one. Hey, Marvin Marbles, yeah, a f stealing a force is, is some spe specific l f look and feel to the papers. I love. I love uh, drawing on uh, printer papers. It has some specific magic to it. I always, always try. Well, we're only 18 minutes in. We're a little bit more than halfway. We got the switch sandwich. <laughs> it's a little bit empty, it's, but it's getting there, I'd say. It's getting there. Hey, Wild Beast 999, you and me, we rocky run that bitch. <laughs> it's just a stupid scene. I love it. I love seeing a follower and seeing that animation of Rocky and Apollo skipping on the beach <laughs> like a bunch of schoolgirls. Hey, Super Groobly, that's a good idea. Let's do it. It's a little bit what you would assume a, sa a witch would have, uh, but let's do it. It's a little bit, you know, uh, not surprising. Oh, oh, the witch has bones hanging from her. Surprise, 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 surprise. Nah, man, it's okay. Let's do it. Let's chase that idea. That's why we're doing these warm-ups. And, and you shouldn't be scared of what ifs what ifs are so important in the in the industry now what if it was a giant witch and uh, there was tiny humans praying for her and uh, or what if she was blue what if it's actually a spaceship <laughs> that's a great what if a sandwich spaceship So stupid sometimes. You get my point though. Hey, Orion, how's it going, man? Uh, Orion, I think it's because it's a limited print, isn't it?
if I'm not mistaken, it's a limited. If he, she had chicken wings. <laughs> yeah, chicken wings. Chicken wings instead of bones. Could work. I've already um, committed though. In, if I would change it to chicken wings, I would need to go through whatever I drew now. And I, as I'm on a limited time with nine minutes left, more or less, I gotta moving forward rather than revise what I've the decisions I've made. I wanna, I wanna try to work on the feeling of sand falling now. It's gotta be a little bit more clearer. Just uh, like a hint of it, so that when we do, whoa, when we do look at it, um, kind of get it that she's uh, standing up from sand. So a lot of directional brush strokes, kind of hinting the the motion of the movement, direction of the movement, rather. We gotta also. Sh hint somehow that it's you know she's coming up and that she's also exists on the plane of the sand floor with uh, cast shadow I think we gotta work in a little bit stronger just so it we plant the idea that she's coming from a plane rather than hovering in this mud muck. That's a lot of money for a book. Well, wow, that's crazy, man. So I'm, I'm kind of not happy with her face. The nose is kind of okay. It's a little bit comical. But let's try to add some character in here. I want to make her feel like there is something more than just a hood coming out of the, the desert. So let's just suggest some parts. Or like a mouth or something. Maybe, maybe she could have glowing eyes. Or maybe that adds too much to uh, her as a her face region. Maybe the strength lies in the fact that we can't really see her face and she's mysterious. See what happens if I do this. It's pretty interesting. So I'm going to keep that, but I'm going to try to. Try to boost the feeling of desert by upping the temperature. And I need... Uh, I don't know if I'm... I like that. I kind of ruined it. I don't like the halo that was created there either. So raise something. Yes, this is a little bit better. A little bit better. It's 
That's doesn't doesn't look like desert though or sand, but it did look cool. I think that's better. Kind of. Yeah, the plague doctor. Hey, thanks, Chewstrand. Uh, feathers. Well, yeah, maybe, maybe. I'm gonna try with glowing eyes. My my fear is just gonna be ch it's just gonna be cheesy, you know. Obviously, the way I just painted them <laughs> is gonna make it cheesy, but I deliberately made them stupid so I could uh, just do a quick test on on. That's pretty kick. That's pretty cool. Let's undo that. Race. Let's move the maybe perspective is broken a bit. So my my son got his her his friend came. And so I'm looking at the glowing eyes. I don't know. It's a bit cheesy. Like this, is a bit anonymous. I think the anonymous is cooler. abscess in our hands. Yeah, I mean we could definitely push the concept further but um, time is running out. And she's a sandwich. I don't know. I don't know. Time is running out. <laughs> Mad for cheese. Yeah, I switched off the microphone. I was just uh, talking to uh, my son. Screaming. Not screaming like angrily, but he was by the door. Uh, so I had to shout, and I didn't want to break your, your eye, eye ears. Maybe just one eye, like there was a suggestion. That's pretty cool. I liked one eye. Well, let's go with one eye. It gave that little bit of a cheeky, cheeky under the hood glance. <laughs> hey, thank you very much, Gearzard, for the host. Unfortunately, time is up. Right, so this is what was created for today's warm-up. A sandwich, a topic by my, my fantastic son, Hugo. Scream and shout, let it all out. Yeah. Hey, thank you very much, for a breakfast. <laughs> Tormod, yeah, Tormod delivered an uh, excellent joke on top of it. Um, 
so let's let's see if anyone is online no one is streaming at the moment moment that is madness so let's check the creative that looks pretty cool he's drawing kinda manga-ish stuff uh, what is he doing crocheting hats oh there's me yeah what is he doing inking and thinking boob streamer modeling uh, level design boob streamer makeup oh god damn it it doesn't look very good ooh what's this all right zombie world order we're going to go raid him zombie world order all right uh thanks everyone for joining in good night have a fantastic day um see you all tomorrow morning at the same time bye